going on? I am cute with a voice. Today I'm coming back with another wig analysis for you guys. Um, I am so super excited about this unit because I have seen so many cuties on the YT here pulling off this unit, making it look good, especially in this color. And I was here for it. So I was like, let me go ahead and pick this wig up. Uh, I forgot where I got this wig from. Um, let me think. I think I got this one from Sam's Beauty. But I'm definitely going to try to leave a few links where they have this one in stock, the same color, so you can pick it up. Um, but if it's not in stock, of course, you have to wait till it come back in stock. Um, now, I know that wig types sold out and then they came back in stock within like uh, the next week. So make sure you check wigtypes.com and I'll leave that link down below. But anyway, if you're new to my channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe down below because what? <laughs> this channel is popping, so let's get it popping. Okay, so whew, where do I start? Okay, this is from Sensational. This is part of the Cloud9 collection. This is a Swiss lace, 100% premium fiber uh, lace front wig. This is Glenna, and I have it in a light ash brown, and it is in 13 by 6 uh, frontal. So this is the wig on the model. I have the color on the model. Now, the color on the model is a little deceiving. See, as you see, this is a little bit lighter, um, more of like a, it looks like almost like a, a off 20, uh, 27, like a... Uh, lighter uh darker 27 but yeah but it's still cute i when i took this out the package i was like definitely a pretty unit i love the color so i do have it style as the model has if it has a style i do have like these two front piece bangs out and so i'll share with you how i achieve this look in one second so here right here is a video of if you want to see the hair down um and how it looks it has tons of layers as you can see because this part right here is shorter up here so that's where you're getting all your layers at so let's get into the uh cap construction this cap is so huge lady it's it's huge it's huge okay like i had to crisscross the lashes because i have a little head so you guys know that if you have a smaller head you will have to crisscross the lashes if you have a bigger head um with a ton of hair this will probably still fit you um more than likely it will because it's a lot of room but if it doesn't make sure you have that hair flattened all the way back to the uh back corner road or a twist to the back now the hairline on this one is absolutely superb i did go ahead and add my even tint spray to the lace right here and it pretty uh much added a nice little touch to it and made it look natural um i did melt it uh this time around for the sides to lay down um straight or, or flat i should say um with the bed head holding spray and I didn't use any heat up here it's extremely flat so um you don't have to use any heat if you're like putting it up but if you are like trying to style it in a certain way like to the left or the right having it down I would say you would need a pressing comb to kind of get some of those bumps and lumps out it's not like filler hairs or anything but it just kind of like has that elevation to it um, now the texture of this one is a light yakky texture. As you can see, I can run my hands uh, right through this one without a problem. Um, I am getting a snag or here, to, uh, right here. So yeah, at the ends, it's going to tend to dry out at the ends. I already know that's to be expected. So make sure you get you some um, silicone spray. And um, you can get that from Amazon. Just put in silicone wig spray and um, it should come up and just use that throughout the wig and it should like detangle the wig really good and give it a nice shine. So um, yes, as far as tangling, like I said, no, pretty much little to no tangling, just a few snaps of here or there. As far as this color, it's beautiful, but it's not shedding a lot due to the color, and I like that, so I'm really pleased on that end. But um, I'm going to give you 360. Here's the front side. 
back. In front again. The density on this one is a medium to natural density. The density could be a little bit fuller to me. I do have all the hair pushed to the front, so um, I'm one that likes to have some hair in the front and a little piece in the back because I just don't like that all push the front look. So I think you can achieve that with this look. Actually, let's go ahead and try it right quick just in case because, you know, I just don't like it all pushed to the front. But here is a little bit of hair to the back just to make it seem like it has hair all over, you know. But um, this one is not dry or anything like that. I can appreciate that. It has no smell to it. I know with my ultra units, my Brady units, they have been coming with a factory smell and some of the units have been coming with a stitch. So I'm appreciating that this one does it. So let's get more into the key features of this one. You can put heat up to this one up to 400 degrees. Uh, I wouldn't say exceed 300 uh, just to be safe. It has the 13 by six. So you have 13 across six back for the parting. So that's amazing. You can do like braids, you can do cornrows. Uh, well, that's the same thing. You can do twists, you can do uh, whatever you want in this section right here. So it says it has a hand tie pre-plucked uh, to create a realis realistic natural density illusion hairline. So it is pre-plugged pretty good as I showed you here. Um, looks really nice. I might go in and add a little bit of brown uh, eyeliner just so I don't have that white cast. Um, it's a little white right there. So I'm gonna fix that a little bit later. Um, so it says the 13 by six ear to ear with six inch deep hand tie parting, yes. That's true, pre-plug natural hair density. Yes, um, undetectable flyers hairline. Um, you can see the hairline a little bit just because it's laced and it's white. So you have to really make sure you kind of blend that in, disguise that, add some brown liner to it or whatever your complexion is. Kind of just make it your own and kind of have it blend in. Um, baby hairs along the hairline. Yeah, it came with baby hairs. I did use those up to my liking. Just two swoops on the side, nothing major. Um, I just don't feel like a whole lot of baby hairs this time around, but I am a baby hair queen, so don't get it twisted. <laughs> but this time I just kind of just took the easy way out with the just two on the side. Um, Pre-customized unit is customized to fit everybody's head because it's of the size. Uh, protective style, no leave out. And yeah, no leave out, which is a full lace wig. And um, here are some of the colors on the back of this, um, you know, stock card. So you have the balayage caramel, balayage chocolate, balayage gold, balayage mocha, balayage platinum, light ash blonde. The um, platinum blonde, um, I want to try that, but I'm not sure how I'm going to like it. But these are the colors right here super cute colors i like the balayage gold and i'm always down for a nice little uh brown or like um blonde little unit but yeah that's pretty much it for this unit i really highly suggest this unit to you guys even if you can't get this color the style of this one is fire ladies like the layers the density is perfect for the summer and the um spring it's not too heavy it has perfect layers it's not too tangly it's just perfect in my opinion i'm going to go ahead and give it a nine out of ten only because, I mean, I have to really, 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 really like the unit for it, get it, for it to get a 10. But I like it. Like, it's a 9 out of 10 is really good. But, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Bye-bye.